My name is Paul Taylor. I'm the personal technology columnist for the Financial Times. And I'm here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, where I've been trying out the new Samsung Galaxy S5 smartphone. There are actually four colors of uh, the S5, as you see gold, white, blue, and charcoal gray. I wanted to compare it slightly to the S4, which of course is uh, the handset that it replaces. This is the S4, this is the S5. The S5 actually has a slightly bigger screen, a 5.1 inch screen, but otherwise, as you can see, they're quite similar. Uh, the other big difference, I guess, is that the case on the S5 is a metallic aluminium case, whereas on the S4, it was a plastic case, which some consumers didn't like so much. So on the face of it, the S5 looks actually quite similar to its predecessor. And in some senses, the technology is an iterative improvement rather than a big leap. Uh, but actually inside, this is a much more powerful device. It actually has the fastest processor available in a smartphone today. Um, amongst its other key features, it's got a larger battery in here, which gives it up to about 15 hours of regular usage. That's about 20% more than uh, the S4. The other key feature that the S5 includes is uh, an updated fitness app and it includes a heart rate monitor. On the back here you can see just below the camera is a little sensor. If I put my finger on that and hold it, press heart rate and it's going to start measuring my heart rate. The other key thing about this fitness uh, uh, monitor is that it actually pairs with uh, three new Samsung wearable devices, the Samsung Galaxy Gear 2, the Neo, and my personal favorite, the uh, Samsung uh, Gear Fit, uh, which as you see has a beautiful curved screen on it. And it, in addition to monitoring uh, uh, your heartbeat and, and uh, the number of steps you take and things like that, it will actually message me, it will show messages email messages, SMS messages that come through on the smartphone on here. So I don't have to take the smartphone out of my pocket. So the key question for Samsung is, is there enough innovation in this, the new uh, S5 handset to keep Samsung on top of the smartphone market?